Well, her gender. <laughs> Is she? <laughs> She was just female, but you know. <laughs> you never can tell these days. Hey, we're live. Oh, and you've got your volume up. Hey, we're live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, just goofing. <sighs> okay. Share this damn thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, we didn't get those 60 likes by 60. Oh, no. And now we're at 61. Hey, is... So there's three people watching. But we uh, have 64 people that follow. So I don't really? get it. Yeah, uh, I don't understand how that works. I don't get it. Huh. Well, we need some more likes, so... Make sure whoever's listening out there likes us. Like us real good. I just loved us. <laughs> That's... Okay, I'm sharing this out on my timeline. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll do the same. Post. Hey, we're ahead of schedule. We got like a... I think it's Bauman that keeps us behind schedule. Absolutely. You know? Um, yeah. So I should blow. That's not me. That was me. I'm sorry. Greg is angry. Why you gotta put that in there? Because you said I gotta share this damn stuff. Uh, whatever. All right. There's one person watching now. Oh no. I see four. All right, three. Oh, we, two. Well, wait a minute, we got thirty seconds. One. The countdown has got. It's got what? It's got twenty seconds left. Hmm. So the camera's kind of, eh, whatever. Got a big vacancy right, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Over his mic. He's usually, he's usually about this tall, <laughs> right <here. laughs> standing. <laughs> yeah, he is. Usually he's standing while we're sitting, which is kind and of he's funny. still shorter. Yeah, he's still shorter. <laughs> we're weird. Uh, we can say whatever we want, because you know he's not going to watch this. No. I don't have time for this. All right, uh, here we go. Welcome to Stuck in Beta. I am Greg, and uh, with me is uh, Gumby, but uh, Pokey's on assignment, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's just me this week. Just just one Josh. Just one Josh. One Josh and a Greg. G, G and J. J and G. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can pull this off. We'll try. Or we're, we're. It's usually him that uh, keeps the show. Uh, well, I don't. I wouldn't say keeps it together. He's more of an obstruction while he's here. <laughs> but we actually have more to talk about while he's here. Yeah. He's he's really good at chiming in and you know con chiming in. He's a good story. That's, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's a jerk. Yeah. I, like I don't know why it. we invite him. I don't know either. So, uh, stuckinbetapodcast.com, find all our links. Hey, what's going on? Uh, not a lot, man. Um, here we are in October, and I meant to say this last week, but this is my favorite month of the year, I think. Oh, mine too. I mean, we have everything from the, the, the usually cooler temperatures. Right now, we've been kind of you know, seesaw, but today, today is the first time it actually feels like fall. It's been amazing outside. It's like, started the day 52 degrees or something. Man. Maybe got up in the mid-60s. Yes. Overcast. Um, yeah, it just has that chilliness in the air. It Yeah, and it's spooky, too. You know? Yeah. This, this kind of weather just feels like, you know, yeah. ooh, someone could come around the corner and axe you or something, you know. 
Yeah, so with that, with the, with the weather change, the leaves, a couple of kids' birthdays are in this month. Um, you know, you got pretty much, if you're a sports fan, you got three sports going on right now. You got the baseball playoffs. Actually, all four really are kind of going on, aren't they? Well, you got basketball season has started. If uh, you, has it? If you're into the NBA, which I don't think any of us are, but um, then you got the hockey season has started. The, um, and the football season is in full swing, so. If you're a sports fan, it's a it's a good time of the year. It's just hockey season for me right now. <clears throat> That's it. I have been watching the uh, the baseball playoffs though a little bit, and I know actually the Cubs are playing right now. Oh, um, you want to just turn that on? Yeah, and skip could this? we? Could you put that on the monitor over here? Um, but yeah, I've been watching some of that, and I've been watching a lot of Blues hockey. It's four games in, and they're four zero. That's awesome. It is. I, they look really, really good. I mean, who knows how long it's going to hold up, but I don't know that they were expected to come out this strong. We'll see. There's, what is there, 62 games? 82. 82? Yeah. yeah. I knew it was something like that. But, you know, I mean, they had a good end to last year. I mean, they they fell short in the playoffs, but they had a good run because it, at one point in the middle of the year, they... Uh, they uh, weren't thought to make the playoffs, and then I think they won like I don't know, 17 games in a row or something crazy like that at one point. And uh, yeah, it's that's been pretty fun. So a lot of good things going on right now, man. Like you're saying about the weather and the best time of year, I, I, I'll have to agree with that because this is like my favorite trifecta of a year. I mean, you've got you've got the Halloween season. Next month you yep. have Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. then you got Christmas. Man, I it's just that warm and cozy type of fun type of year. I heard on Bauman's trying to call in. Why? He must have heard our comments. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't invite you. Well, can you hook that up? Let, yeah, right. Let's see if I can. You can just Hey. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Hey, What's up? Thanks for the kind words starting the show, guys. <laughs> you actually are listening. That's surprising. <laughs> uh, no, I was. And Pete, I'm driving. Pete had pulled up in his, in it, on his phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now you know how we really feel about you. One of the royal listeners was li- was uh, wanting to listen. Oh, well. Uh-huh. I see. Well, we're thankful for, for him. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right see ya see you man all right. Bye. and there you go now we can talk bad about him again yeah i can't believe he was actually listening so he wasn't listening someone else was wanting to listen. yeah that's that's what it he didn't care he didn't care he didn't want to listen yeah man so this morning yeah well i guess last night i was i i don't know why i started dreaming weird dreams mm-hmm. They they come to me, and I had this dream where I was in my ba- remember my ro- my bedroom and basement at the par- at my parents' house. Yeah. Well, that's where I was. <laughs> I was cleaning the room out. Molly was there with me, my wife. Uh-huh. She was there helping me clean out, and my dad was there too. And he found a, like a dirty magazine. Oh no. <laughs> And he got so angry at me, <laughs> and he was like, I don't want this damn stuff in my house. I can't believe it. I mean, something my dad would never say. <laughs> and I'm like, Dad, I'm 40 years old. I mean, what are you going to do about, you know, but I was terrified of him like he was going to beat me or something, which he never did. You know, he's... So this was you going back to your room, you know, nearly 20 years later. Yeah, still, I knew I was the age I was. Right. It wasn't like I was, you know, a teenage kid or something. <laughs> and he's like, you need to get this trash, and I want you to recycle it, or something. He said something like that. Like, he wanted me to take it to some recycling recycle plant. It? <laughs> Don't just throw it in the garbage. Yeah. And so I just went outside and dumped it in the garbage, and... Well, that that was pretty much it, but I I I just don't know, so you know. What's going on in your mind? That's right what now. I was wondering. I mean, something so, you're uh, you're are you feeling a little apprehensive about something? I mean, let's let's try to dissect this a I little bit. So, a lot of times I'll check out the dream interpretation yeah. type stuff. 
but nowhere in there can you find, you know, a a girly magazine and well, your dad. Let's see. So I would say that you must be intimidated by something. You know, I mean, your dad was obviously you felt very scared and you know nervous. So you you must be afraid of something. Maybe even slightly ashamed of something since it's something that. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> you are so embarrassed about. <laughs> I don't know. So what's going on in your life, I, Greg? There's nothing. <laughs> I I don't know. Hmm. It was. I told Molly about it this morning. <laughs> like I don't know what that means, <laughs> and she was like, eh. she wanted to go back to bed. <laughs> so I don't know. That that's me though. Huh. I just have just weird have stuff. Weird dreams because. I had another thing trying to. Uh, there's something about a library and filling out paperwork, and I kept losing the paperwork, and I, I don't know, hmm. losing papers. I don't know. I haven't really dreamed like that in a long time, but I, I know how you feel where you have those just weird. It's almost like you're. Uh, you, I. It always happened for me, like when I think I've had enough sleep, but for some reason I keep. I've probably slept longer than I really needed to. Yeah. And at that point, it's like the early morning hours where my brain just starts going in just really weird directions. And it's like so fragmented. It's like it's almost trying to put little pieces of whatever might be going on in my life together. So that, that's what it always happens for me. It's not so much like just weird abstract stuff like that. That For me, it's more like what is currently... You know what I'm going through in my life currently, so it's like something to do with work or something to do with, you know, hanging out with you guys. But it's more real life type stuff. But things start to collide. Not that yeah. craziness. No, I just have craziness usually. Yeah, it's usually not. I don't have nightmares very often. I just have craziness. Hmm. I don't know. What constitutes a nightmare? Like what really? I would think. Waking up scared. Yeah, like like uh, <laughs> abruptly waking up, that's that's a nightmare. So if you keep sleeping, it's a dream. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I, you wake up from dreams, too. Yeah. Hmm. I Something mean, terrifying. I, I've I never guess. still been asleep. That's why I'm here today. Huh? You lost well, me. <laughs> well, anyway. You some uh, Friday the 13th? Uh, hey, Friday the 13th is coming up. The uh, date, not the uh, movie. Um. No one really knows why the date is feared. Hey, in two days, Friday the 13th. Hey, look. Yeah. Jason Voorhees. Yeah. You got a hockey jersey on here today. Voorhees on the back. Number 13. It's all splattered in blood. There you go. The uh, the 13 has a, well, like an X underneath it. With machetes. two machetes. Yeah. So where did you get this? This I got at the spirit shop. The spirit shop? The, oh, not, like, not the liquor store. <laughs> not the liquor store in my house. No, uh, Spirit Halloween. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just... They, uh, so I had 20%. I thought it was neat, and then uh, had it. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. And then I had a 20% off. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so there you go. I'll wear it a couple times a year. So there. But uh, no one really knows why uh, Friday the 13th is actually a feared holiday. I mean, obviously the movies made it more of a feared ho- uh, date, but there. I mean, there's a few things, uh, like an Italian composer who died on Friday the 13th. There was, uh, they say, others believe it was biblical origins, like Jesus was crucified on a Friday and there were 13 guests at the Last, last Supper. Hmm. Maybe that has something to do with it. Um I don't know. It's it's really weird that a superstitious date really has no like backstory. It's just you know the same with uh, hotel rooms. They don't have some don't have thirteenth floors. Is that real? I mean, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever. Well, I guess I've never been I mean, in a hotel that tall. They have a thirteenth level, but it it's it says marked 14, as fourteen. 12, you know, fourteen. Yeah, hmm. like it's some unlucky thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the number 13 in general is unlucky, but then you, you add the Friday to it, and it's, 
even it's because I mean there could be the thir- there's a thirteenth of every month. But if it hand, lands on a Friday, and then this year it's in October, which is a spooky yeah, month. Yeah, spooky so. month. Hmm. And uh, it can happen up to three times in a year. That's the maximum? That's the maximum. Um, so the last time that happened was in uh, 2015. Huh. And it won't happen again until 2026. Wow. Yeah. Eleven years in between. Alfred Hitchcock was born on uh, Friday the Thirteenth, and uh, yeah. Do you have any of those odd phobias like that? Like you, you know, I remember my mom when as growing up, she'd always to stay, say things about the full moon. You know, like the crazies are out. It's a full moon. Oh you know, yeah, always. Like yeah, I remember that. Does any of that stuff kind of resonate with you in any way? Like, do you ever feel at all like superstitious about any of that stuff? I don't think so. I don't either. Maybe Molly would say I do, but I don't. I don't remember ever having any sort of superstitious type things. My mom was always uh, the black cat crossing your path. She was always uh, superstitious of that as well. And that I, happens to me all the time. Yeah, I see that all the time too. She would always it's always a black one too, pure it's black. Weird. Yeah. She would always. And I remember she would see that, and she had this thing that she would do as as you know she's driving. And she would make th- these X's on her windshield, like, almost to, like, try to, oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, a curse. Uh, yeah, put the spell back yeah. on the cat or something, yeah. or, or wipe the spell away, or I don't know. But, yeah, I remember the moon and the cat and then the Friday the 13th. And So now, I don't like to walk underneath ladders. Yeah. Because that was, that's, that's one. That's one, but that's one I won't do. That seems it's unsafe, silly. Safe, really. Well, it's yeah, but I just won't. I need that. Uh, I'm taking pictures now. I know oh, what you do. Here, you fix that. So another one is the uh, uh, the broken mirror. You know, that's seven and that's years. That's happened bad to me luck. too. Yeah, maybe I have had bad luck. Um, but I don't know. It, it, it the Friday the Thirteenth thing doesn't doesn't scare me in any way. So, I guess uh, we got an in- interesting you have s- a, snack. You right? have a couple snacks or just one today? We're just going to do the one. I had another one, but uh, this one seems like this will take a while. All right. Maybe. Let's give it a go. Oh, no. I don't know if you know this. This is probably our most popular snack food on this on this show. Probably our Oreos. I think we've eaten different kind of Oreos more on this show than any other snack food. We this has got to be at least the fourth different flavor. Probably, probably. Yeah. We had Peeps. We had Swedish God. Fish. God, both bad. Do we have? Uh, Was there? A, did we have the Sparkle one or the Fourth of July one or whatever the pops? Yeah, Fourth of July. I think there's this Boy, may be the fifth yeah. or sixth. The most recent one. Oh no, it was Peeps. Yeah, um, I thought there was one just a few weeks ago. But anyway, well here you go, Mystery Oreo. So, what's the story on this stuff? The story is okay. So it's a regular chocolate cookie, and they have a mystery flavored cream, artificially flavored. So. Um, it says if you guess the flavor, guess the flavor for a chance to win fifty thousand dollars. So I guess you uh, uh, one grand prize winner will uh, get fifty thousand dollars, and the first five prize winners will receive ten thousand. So text mystery. It has different ways to enter. Anyway, um, it just looks like a regular Oreo. Yeah, I mean, is uh, <clears throat> when did these come out? When were these released? I'm so it has. It. I think it's recently. Yeah, man, I'm smelling fruity pebbles the second really? I open this thing. Let me get a whip. They, they look like the the double stuff. Yeah, they look double stuffed. Oh yeah, it totally smells like uh, 
Like Fruity yeah, Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles um, cereal. But they had, I know they've, because Molly and I have tried, they had, I don't think it was called Fruity Pebbles. Well, what the heck? Uh, well, um, it says, uh, I'm reading a review here. It says, literally, it could literally be Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. Some reviews have said X Body Spray. Um, cereal Milk Oreos. So, I'm just eating the cream part just so I can get a better... Yeah, that only. Uh-huh. I don't know. Mm. It's got that... um. That crunchiness to it, or I don't know, sh- really sugariness to it, like that. Yeah, really crunchy, sugary. sugary. Man, boy, that that. Gosh, it seems like it's a it's that cereal. It tastes like yeah, cereal like uh, Fruit Loops or uh, Fruity Pebbles. Hmm. Like it's so. Some people are saying cereal milk. That's what they. I guess that's a thing. Cereal milk, huh? So I guess after you eat your cereal, or yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. Know. This this review says it's exactly like fruity freaking pebbles. I'll agree. I don't know. They're not great. <laughs> They're not great. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh It's really sweet. Mm-hmm. So the so we oh. had. And it was called like something cereal. Um, did you try it? Did you try it with the with the with the um, cookie yet? Or did you just try the cream by itself? Uh, I tried the. Cre- Does it taste different? Yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> okay, it's not good at all. And it has like a man. I don't. Know, I can't describe it. The two flavors together are, aren't good. In my opinion. Ah. Man, so the weird thing is, why would they have... Because they had a... And it was with a vanilla cookie. And it had uh, like a... It wasn't called Fruity Pebbles, but it was called like Fruity Cereal or something. Yeah. And I I don't know. Uh, I don't think they would do the same exact flavor I don't know that's that's not good that's I mean it's right up there with a fruity stupid. crisp is what it was before it's right up there with the stupid uh Swedish fish and the what was the other one the peeps see look if you fruity crisp Oreos okay. they have done before yeah that I, I didn't have that one that I can remember, so... No, I think that was before we started the show. And that had little crispy bits in there. Hmm. Yeah, why would they do the same thing again? And why would it seem so obvious? You know, like, so... Like, there's no... I mean, can, how could they come out and go, Oh, no, it's actually beef jerky. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, so when are they going to release this? Uh, I don't know. Information. I don't know. I thought it was going to be something like that. It, I was th- I was expecting some sort of combination of a couple of flavors to where you would go, "Ooh, I don't know. I get a little of this or a little of that, or you know," and and really trying to pinpoint. And but, it it just tastes like sugar, though. Yeah, these are bad. I'm sorry. That's that's a lot of fails in a row here lately with us and our snacks. We need to. Just so step it up a little I bit. think it it was good on the vanilla cookie. Now, I don't think it goes with chocolate. You think that's what it is? I think that's that's exactly what it is. The chocolate and the fruitiness don't mix. Hey, we had the apple uh, pie Oreos just recently. That's what it was. Those were good, right? Yeah, those were really good. We like those. And those had like a graham cookie, right? But then the. The apple pie uh, M&M's that we had last week were No, those are pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah, you're right. Pump, white pie. chocolate pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie and the... and the uh, Yeah, those were terrible. <coughs> oh, I still man. have that huge bag in my 
pantry. No, no one will even, ever eat it. Even my kids were like trying like one, and they were like, "Oh, they're making the same face tastes I make like, whenever I yeah. eat this." Crap. Tastes like a pumpkin candle. That's what. That's I what Caleb said. He yeah. said the exact he same thing. He must have listened to the show. No, he didn't actually, yeah. but he should. Yeah, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Caleb! Aww. If you listen, you'd get this. Today's his birthday, number seventeen. Can you believe it? Jeez, seventeen year old man. Yeah. You're in a 17-year-old. I'm having a newborn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it time for a baby update? Any news on that? Well, I've, I'm supposed to scrape the popcorn ceiling off the off the nursery. Ugh. So you're, you're actually really kind of in that, that fun phase. I mean, my... Fun phase? Well, I, I, let me, hear me out. Okay. So Molly's past her, you know, the first trimester. Oh, she's, she loves, yeah, she loves. Yeah, so she's she's food past again. the um, the uh, the getting sick and Puking. you know all that stuff, <laughs> and now she's in the phase where you know she's not, you know, things are becoming probably exciting. You're looking forward to it, you know, and all that sort of thing, and. Now it's your job to get the the baby's room I in know. order. It's and my all job, that. Uh, you know, and then of course. Towards the end, it gets, you know, it could get uncomfortable, you know, for the woman. Yes. So it's the fun time is what I'm saying. Okay. I, I got <laughs> I got you. So Hopefully. I need to um, I need to start getting working on that, though. Yeah. I'm supposed to do that this yeah, weekend. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Now you could help if you want. I, I'll, I might. Okay. Hey, you want to try a beer? Well, yeah. hey, uh... Cider, actually. All right, so our music still applies, right? Sure, why not? Let me fill you up. Really excited to try this. Greg has been working on this cider now for, I think, two weeks. I think he first started talking about this cider two weeks ago today. And last week he gave us the update that he it had completed fermenting and he was working on carbon it adding the carbonation and he said he tried a little sip of it whenever he added when you um added it, the carbonation you tried a little sip right yeah it you could see the carbonation's gone down but that's probably about what wow. it should be i'm just by appearance and aroma I'm impressed. It smells like apple. Looks like a cider. Um, has a few bubbles floating around in it and coming up from the bottom. That's a good sign. It may be a little sweeter than normal. Wow, that is sweeter than 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 I would expect. But so it's a. I can definitely f- little caramel apple cider. Yeah, it has that. Um, caramel or, yeah, like a graham almost flavor to it. It's That's pretty good. It's So it's a brown sugar and like a cinnamon dolce mix is what was added to it. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, six, I think 6% is what cinnamon, it is. Cinnamon, yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's so, pretty good. Well, thank 6%? you. 6%? Yeah. And... Like I said the last episode, this cider is simple. Much easier than brewing. Oh my gosh. You don't have to do, unless you're smashing your own apples, you're basically taking, <laughs> you're taking apple juice, yeah. buying it at the store, pouring it out into a, I added apple juice, uh, dextrose, and yeast, capped it off, it fermented about, I don't know, about a week, week to ten days. Then I uh, moved it to a different bucket, added sugar, spice, and everything nice, <laughs> and uh, then kegged it. It's good to go. I really like it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Finally, something drinkable. <laughs> well, yeah. Finally, something dr- Come on! <laughs> We've had drinkable stuff. Well, why do we only have two watching right now? Well, it's you and me, probably. Uh, Josh is the... He's uh, the guy that everybody us. shows up oh, to. Oh, shoot. What are you doing? People are bored with us. No, Mike is still watching. So what else we got? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Movies? Movies. We have no, uh, we we really need a movie theme. You know, like, 
You need a movie theme and an interesting news theme. Yeah. So, Poltergeist? Yeah, I watched Poltergeist this weekend, okay? I, it's, I guess it's still one of the, it holds up, okay? I'm just going to, the 1982 version, they made one a couple years ago, which I still never saw because yeah. I like the original so much. That this movie holds up. I mean, it is still a scary movie. I mean, I guess there's a few of the effects maybe a little weird, but I I I didn't think it looked all that weird uh, at all. Um, it's funny. It's pretty much my my kind of intro into horror movies. I think because at this time we had HBO on TV when I was about five years old. And mom and dad would flip this on all the time and really? scare the piss out of me. <laughs> they didn't do it on purpose. You weren't even five years old when this movie came out. Uh, yeah, probably not. Well, when it was on HBO, maybe it was like mm. like a year later or whatever. Sure. But, man, that movie scared me. And uh, that clown and the tree and the swimming pool. Everything about this movie scary. I don't. Rem- I mean, I know the d- d- different scenes that are that are, you know, that are popular, but I don't remember the movie so much. Man, and how it happened. It's been a long time. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever. I'm sure I at some point watched it, you know, straight through. But the weird, the weird thing is, um, one of the things, the older daughter died before the movie even was murdered actually by her boyfriend before the hmm. movie even came out and then the the youngest daughter the they're here you know that yeah. she d- died of some uh i thought it was some common cold or something that uh they misdiagnosed it well they may have misdiagnosed it as a common cold but it was something else like died at 12 years old wow yeah and uh, I don't know, there's probably other people that... It, they say it's a curse, but, I mean, how many people make it out of a live at a, of a normal movie, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> that was a bad joke, I guess. <laughs> you lost me a little bit there. So, um, th- I was talking about Friday the 13th. Yeah. Have you seen the previews for Happy Death Day? I was going to look into this. I saw you had it on the agenda here, and it sounds familiar, but I can't place it. It So, I don't know why. Molly goes, that looks stupid. Well, I, you know, you're another one. You don't like Cabin in the Woods. I love Cabin in the Woods. Bah. It's probably my favorite horror movie. Horrible. Um, but this movie basically is like Groundhog Day. So, oh, yeah. I thought this looked pretty good. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. I as soon as you said that, I do remember seeing. Yeah, the she yeah she dies yeah. and then she wakes up again. It, She's like, "What the heck?" And she has to solve her own murder or whatever. Right? It, is it a horror movie or more of just a? They classify it as a mystery thriller. I could see that. I mean, I would go. I would see that. Really? Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> Seven o'clock. Uh, I, it's possible. I but well, you don't have anybody to go with. No, I don't. <laughs> Is that um, when it comes out tomorrow? Yeah. It, well, I mean that you know how movies come out on a Friday, but they've they started doing a thing where they yeah let it come out at seven the day before. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, I, I I remember watching the the preview. I saw it a, quite a while ago, and uh, or the the trailer rather. It's got a little um, what's his name? Fifty Cent. Oh, really? As, no, no. Every morning, a ringtone. Oh, Yo, shawty, right. it's right. your birthday. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked. I thought it looked good. Hey, hmm. How about yep, that? Seven o'clock tomorrow at the Festus Cinema. See, Molly doesn't know it. Oh, Molly's here. Hey, Molly. Hey. <laughs> 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 so you missed what we just said. Uh. Oh, oh well, you'll never see it again. Uh, <laughs> The new trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Just watched it. Hey, just watched it. I yeah. kind of peeked over and you watched did. a little bit. Did you really? Uh, I don't like watching trailers for movies that I'm going to see that 
that uh, I know is going to be probably good. Yeah, you've always had that weird thing about you. Because I don't... I, I like to be fresh, you know? Going to the movie... It's like two minutes. I mean, if... Yeah, but they try to make movie, uh, movie trailers so exciting that they put in this piece and that piece and that. Like, I'm like, man, if I didn't know that, this movie would would have been so much better, you know? I, I can see that with... Um with lower budget and not so popular movies that you see the funny parts. Yeah, <laughs> I hate that. I mean, that's horrible. But something like Star Wars where I mean, especially for you guys, like you and Josh who are huge Star Wars nerds, that you would you would love that movie start to finish and you're gonna pick apart like how awesome it was in every little detail and aspect, whereas, you know, a guy like me is gonna be like, Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. He he said he bought uh, tickets. Yeah, I, he said that the other day. It's I, December. I, yeah, Christmas December, time? what, 15th or something. I've never... Uh, What's the point of that? I don't know. I've never had a problem buying tickets on opening night for something. Hmm. It's not a big deal. But the trailer looked pretty good. It was, um, you know, you know how the last movie ended? Yeah. Right, where she's on that little island and... She finds a... Uh, uh, um, her father, right? Well, I don't know if it really if it's his fa- her father or what. They never really oh. say. They but Luke, Luke Skywalker, yeah. and but he's you know it's that was his only like the, the thing about um, the Force Awakens. The whole movie, you're thinking when when is Luke Skywalker coming? Yeah. In? When is he going to be here? He was literally in the last last scene scene, and I don't even think I don't think he had a speaking part. Yeah, I don't think so. I remember he, you know, she approached him or whatever. He had like the the hood on, he, right? Yeah, and he maybe he took his hood down. Uh, yeah, it's been a, turned around, something like that. I, he may have said something. I don't remember. Hey, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> but there was a lot of him in the in the trailer, and um, well, I hope so. I mean, come on, is he supposed to be in the movie a lot? Yeah, I would. I'm, a, you know, she's gonna be trained by him. Is oh. what it, what I mean, it looks like. Nece- that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be in the movie a lot. I mean, they could, you know, do oh, a montage I mean... and it. He'd do a montage. <laughs> and then she's off to, you know, yeah. battle the dark side. Just so many. <laughs> <laughs> what was that Revenge of the Nerd, <laughs> that song? You uh, keep getting a little bit better. Or the. <laughs> <laughs> it's such, Man, I, such a dumb 80s song. I know exactly what you're talking about, too. <laughs> yeah. Was it a, actually a montage? It probably... Oh, when it was like the, when they were they're cleaning painting the, something. Yeah. Painting, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're uh, painting and cleaning the house. And, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was such... You're digging that song up right now. One one step in front of the other. Oh boy, that's so cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what you if know. they put that in the Star Wars? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> I would be okay with it. We 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 went a different direction here, yeah. <laughs> you know. And and it even shows them cleaning a house or something, <laughs> or like uh, her training her training yeah. like. Paint the house and uh, sand the floor <laughs> and whack like Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> that that there you go. Those montages were everywhere back yeah, then. Yeah, no, you know, hmm. uh, need to bring it back. Yeah, that's bring the back the montage. Um, <laughs> did so. Uh, there was a new Justice League trailer too. I don't know if you saw that. Did not but, watch that one. Um, that comes out in November. Really? Yeah. Which <laughs> you know. If we talk, we've talked about that before, right? Yeah, I don't know how well it's going to do. Um, kind of a weird time for movies. To uh, be released. Yeah, especially uh, the Justice League. Come big, on, yeah, like if budget. you, it, yeah, I mean, Star Wars kind of started doing this Christmas time of year for mm-hmm. their big, you know, and they blow up because there's no other competition. I like that. Yeah, it it uh, because during uh, uh oh, did we lose? Are we still online? I think so. Oh, mine froze up. 
I like that thing with Star Wars though because it's it, uh, any anything really that's released that time of year because that's when I personally have downtime. I mean, I don't, I don't have a whole lot going on. I don't have, you know, and it's a good time to watch movies. There's, I mean, you can get out. There's nothing else out either. So yeah, you, you know. But I mean, it's not like you. It, I mean, it's just a good time to watch movies. It's you know, it's cold. It's dark. It's you know. Go to the theater. Yeah, you don't want to go outside, so <laughs> yeah. go to the movies. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Justice League will be good. I'll probably go see it because, you know, I like Batman. I like The Flash. Wonder Woman was good. Hopefully, uh, they'll do a good movie here. Yeah, I keep locking myself out of this iPad here. I don't know. Every time. Yeah. Uh, hey. It's pop culture time, right? What do you need more now? Hey, this this week in uh, pop culture, um, I was going to talk about Stompers. Do you remember Stompers? I do remember Stompers, and as soon as I saw this added to the agenda, I was like, yeah, that, those are so cool. Man, I I had tons of these things. That's a very fond memory of my childhood, honestly. my very Some of my very earliest memories. I grew up, um, the first home that I knew, we lived in a mobile home. Yeah. For like the first five years of my life. And I remember being like four years old something like that four or five years old. i was really little and getting stompers like for my birthday yeah and then probably and then i think i remember them coming out you know they were in like mcdonald's happy meals oh, yeah. and things like that well, well let's explain what they actually yeah. are they're they're if you don't know they're back in the 80s it says they debuted in 1980 actually and they they had to have gone all through the entire run of the 80s um, but it was basically a little car truck, and they had little. It was bigger than a Hot Wheel. Yep, and it would fit one AA battery mm-hmm. in there. It had a little switch on it, and they just you know they roll. They'd be able to uh, climb over pencils and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, and uh, some of them had headlights that would light up too, which was always cool. Oh, turn off the lights, we can see them. You know, but um. They were made to look exactly like automobiles of the time. Yeah. So, like, you know, you see Chevy Blazer. Big mud tires, too, you know. Yeah, everything was four-wheel drive. Yeah. I remember the tires being interchangeable, so there was some that was, like, solid, hard rubber, and then others that were softer. Yeah, and uh, I, like you were saying about the Happy Meal toy, like, I, I, I think I got every single one of those. Really? Um because they were a little small. They fit in with your Hot Wheels. Yep. And they had no power, but they were still like a big 4x4 four four vehicle mm-hmm. that you could uh, go with your Hot Wheel toys. But and I, I just, I, I remember, um, what was it? At one time they had that, that track. Do you remember the track? Yeah. It was just like a, like a plastic cord or whatever. Right. And it... I don't think that ever worked really well. <laughs> well, I mean, they had more than that. They had a lot of these different things that um, that it could climb over, and you could build like I don't know. In this in this picture that I'm looking at here, they had um, it looked like a, a bridges and like these fallen logs and you know rocks. And I guess you know you could just turn that little truck on and it would climb up and down over all this oh yeah um you know four four wheeling man i never had any of these play sets but yeah i had all i had a bunch i probably had about five of those cars and then there started being all these knockoffs which yeah i know i ended up with some knockoff <laughs> brands <laughs> it's kind of like legos you had some yeah. uh oh i I have a bucket upstairs that I, I found over at my parents' house. It's not Legos, it's lock blocks. Lock blocks? Yeah. I don't even think I've ever heard and of that. And on it, on the bucket, it says, compatible with other locking bricks or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly what they're talking about, you yeah. know. But the the thing is, they're a little bit 
like the little pegs on it are a little bit taller, so yeah. it doesn't fit together with Lego so well. But no, that, those stompers they were cool. I, I really like those. I I had quite a few of them. Good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, good trip down memory lane. Hey, did you know? That the Google Home Mini, you've heard of this new Google Home Mini, right? Yeah, we don't have a tech segment theme I either. I thought we did. Yeah. Oh. You could just do like... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's what I feel like when you guys start talking about <laughs> start talking about tech stuff. <laughs> the Google Home Mini. Okay, so they have the Google Home. I have one of those. I think Bauman has one too. Uh, they made a miniature version of it. I guess kind of compete with the Echo, and they're an Echo Dot or whatever. It's only fifty dollars, but it does basically the same thing. You can ask it questions and all that. Well, um, one guy found out that it's listening to everything that you say. Okay, like he he was like, "Why are the lights on on my my new?" Because uh, he went to the release or the uh, announcement for it, and, and everyone in the crowd got a free one, and he started seeing the lights on on the thing. He's like, what the heck? So you can actually go into an app or online and see what you've asked or your history, basically. Mm-hmm. And he said there was over a thousand entries, mm-hmm. and he was noticing, man, this thing's listening 24-7. Wow. And he sent a thing out to Google and it has to do with the you can you can either say uh well I'm gonna turn yeah. on everyone's Google device. You right. you say a word to get it to to yeah. turn on. Yeah, recognition phrase or whatever. Or you press a button on it and it'll do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Well it was almost like a phantom was hitting the button. Like, that's basically how they described it, Google did. Mm -hmm. So they had to put out a patch, which basically disabled you from pressing the button on it. So now, (laughs) it's such a weird, weird story. Like, like how did that even make it pat? Why wouldn't that have, you know, bug testing and stuff like that? I don't know. Hmm. Very strange. And probably... Anything, Pretty bad. I mean, who? Anything embarrassing happened to this guy? Oh, I don't think so. I think it was like a lot of the TV and stuff that he was like, just stuff that was listening. Oh, okay. Because it record. Like, I can go to my history. It'll it'll record anything you say after you say the key word, but it's always questions. You know. Man, I swear. And I talked about this. I don't know a few weeks ago. And I'm just. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but <laughs> okay, here we go. I, you can turn the mic off on it. More, more often than not, on my phone, and I shouldn't say more often than not, but occasionally, um, I, we'll be talking about something just completely random, and then I'll be scrolling through something, news feeds or whatever. Especially on the what do you call that when you swipe to the left? Yeah, your your, your search, Go- your yeah, Google, Google feed. Um, where it says, you know, st- stories to read. We'll be talking about something completely obscure, and then wouldn't you know it that there's a story on this stories to read that's pertaining to exactly what we talk about. I don't know how that can be coincidence all the so, time. So part of that may be because I know the Google Doc is tied to your account that we put our yeah. subjects in. I don't know if it but searches through that. I don't know if we put... I don't know. Maybe there's been some times I, that... I know your search strings, it'll start giving you suggestions. Yeah. No, I, I, I understand that. I totally get that. But there's been some times... I don't remember what the last example was, but I was like, what the heck? I know I didn't search for that. I know I didn't type that anywhere. It just felt like... It was sprinkled in amongst all this other stuff, you know, things that I had searched for, but there was this one obscure reference to something where I'm like, that never would have popped up, but yet I was just talking about that like yeah. yesterday. Yeah, that's weird. I'm sure it's completely coincidence, but it makes you feel like it's listening. It, it is watching, it to- like, I mean, your search 
history and stuff like that. Well, I told you, my Google Home, well, I told you about asking the size of a, uh, uh, what was it? Kumquat. A, kumquat. Well, recently I did the same thing. Uh, how big is an al- avocado? And instead of it giving me how big an avocado should is, it says, your baby is at this time about this big. Hmm. Like, so how, it's, it's it's like it's no... It's it's like the it is it knows that you are measuring the size of a baby. Yeah, which okay. Is it because you've been searching for baby type stuff, or you've been putting baby stuff? I guess. Yeah. In? I mean, it's man, that is weird. Yeah, that's well, crazy. All our stuff is out there. It knows. Yeah, but it knows all. Man, I just wonder. I don't know. There's been there's been a couple of examples where I felt like it heard what i was saying versus what i typed i'm telling you machines are taking over (laughs) we're at work we have i was walking down the hall they have this big huge uh yellow uh, like floor buffer machine there's no one controlling it really it's just like a robot oh yeah like a big roomba basically huh but it's you know it stands about oh, four cool. foot tall. Yeah, has a little blinking light on it. There was someone following it, you know, but he didn't have a remote control or anything in his hand. He, huh. It was just do it, and uh, they're gonna start doing this other robot uh, thing that delivers food and drugs and hmm. like linens to patient rooms right. and stuff. Huh. I could just imagine um, some people uh, maybe seeing this has drugs in it. You know, the robots get stolen or whatever. Uh-huh. Well, they say that um, I actually, the new issue of Popular Mechanics magazine is all about, like, being afraid or or not being afraid, I guess I should say, of Be afraid. The, fu- you know, the future and the technology and the robotics and all of that. And, you know, one of the things that, that they've talked about a lot is the, the self-driving um, trucks yeah. that are expected to probably be on the road, like, within the next 20 years, they're saying. Yeah. That can drive a shipment, you know, from point A to point B, just like the cars. But the cars are, you know, in a way, it's not really necessary, I guess. But I thought they were starting to use them in some locations, like short distances. And I get that for truck drivers, especially mm-hmm. people who are on the road a long time. Then, you know, they could still sit behind the wheel, but you could turn on an autopilot feature or mm-hmm. something like that. You you nod off or whatever. You know, you're you're not gonna right wreck the yeah. wreck the car. But yeah, autopilot. Yeah, Tesla has the, the, Tesla the autopilot, autopilot. Yeah, yeah. I thought those trucks didn't even have a human in them, though. Oh yeah, huh. But yeah, the whole well, they the whole did that on the Simpsons. Like, what was that? Twelve years ago? Really? Yeah. Hmm. How did it do? Well, it, there was a little automatic thing, and they go, "Don't tell anyone because this is how we get paid." You know, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah. So what else, man? I have you heard of this game Cuphead? No, I don't think so. So. There's this game called Cuphead. You should check out some of the videos of it. It's um, It basically is a game that is made to look like a 1930s style cartoon. Like while while the while the character is sitting still, he's doing the the jiggly motion and I think they did all sell animation for this thing, which I mean, the game is beautiful. It looks really cool. And uh, it's only on Xbox and on uh, the PC, uh-huh. but I I think I, I I've looked at that thing and it it looks really cool. Like the graphics are amazing, and uh, it it looks like just uh, like a I guess kind of a Mario game, like a side scrolling game, but it's you know you're shooting like a hmm. a weapon type thing. But doesn't it look like something you yeah. would have seen, you know, like a like old 1930s type? Yeah, like the old uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, um, old, yeah, exactly. Cartoons. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that but is like, different. That's that is cool. The animation of that is just amazing. 
Huh. If you haven't checked out the the videos for Cuphead, you should check it out. It 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 looks really cool. Hmm. But uh, I think I may get it. It's it's only it's twenty bucks, which wow. It's a just a it's a download game okay. on Xbox and uh, on uh, the PC. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Check it out. It's different for sure. Yeah. Uh, what else we got before we go? Well, I guess we uh, we talked a little bit before the show started about Netflix is raising their prices again. Um, I mean, I don't know. How do you feel about that as a it's Netflix a, subscriber? It's a buck, and most people aren't going to cancel over a dollar. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, well, N- Netflix is putting, what is it, like six, this year they put six billion into original programming, mm-hmm. which is a lot, you know? Mm-hmm. The money's got to come from somewhere. I get it. Do they make money in other ways? Uh no, just subscriptions. Just subscriptions, huh? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess if you look at it from that perspective and you're expecting that that's only going to not only continue but improve right because of their original content and what they can support as well, you know, what they can put you know, what they can put uh for you to be able to stream, you know, that's just going to that should continue to grow. I right. Would and I mean, if you think about HBO, is the same way, you know, they it's subscription only. There's no, I'm sure some of their original programming, they probably make some money off sponsors and stuff, adding, you know, a Coke can out there or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, that's kind of a lot of movies do that just mm-hmm. to supplement the cost. But uh, I don't know. I, I am surprised every time I get into Netflix and how there's, oh, a new original Netflix show, <laughs> yeah. a new original Netflix movie. You know, there's so much content on there. I, I have trouble knowing what's actually good on there and yeah. what just is, you know, because obviously not all their stuff is going to be for me, you know, mm. but maybe it's maybe it's great, but, but uh, you know, it, it, I just... There's so much, you know. Well, that's yeah, and, and my wife Lori, she gets overwhelmed with it because she'll she'll be scrolling through, you know, we'll we'll say, "Let's let's pull up a movie." But there's so many choices. Yeah. Like, where do you begin? And then you just get to that point where you're just scrolling and like, I yeah. don't know what I want. I don't even know what genre or, you know, what type of movie I want to watch. And then yeah, it's it is kind of overwhelming from that. Yeah, you almost need someone to go, hey, check out this series, mm-hmm. check out this movie, yeah. you know. It's an original, you know, you can't see it anywhere else, yeah. you know. They do have that feature, though, that says based on you watch this, so maybe you'll like yeah. this. But sometimes that doesn't, you know. Uh, on my way to work, in just south of uh, downtown St. Louis, there is a billboard for Stranger Things. Really? A full-size billboard. Really? Wow. Yeah, it says Netflix original or something like that. And it's got... That's also where your extra dollar is yeah, going. Yeah, so I was really surprised to see that. It just popped up in the last week or so, but it's... I've never seen an ad for Netflix before. Yeah, because you would think... Well, I mean, I know... I don't know if... I know in my Facebook feed, I've seen Stranger Things so many times recently. Right. But, uh... That's weird to be a billboard, yeah. you know. It comes uh, October 27th. Yeah, coming soon. Yep. But, yeah, along with that, though, Hulu, I think, announced that they were going to be lowering their price. Did lowering? you see that? No. Yeah. no. You didn't see that? No, I didn't. I think it's, what is it, six ninety nine now? Uh, right? seven ninety nine for the non... For the one with the For with the one the with commercials, yeah. yeah. I think it's going down to five ninety nine. Really? It's either five ninety nine or, or six ninety. It's going down one or two dollars. Wow. And then, but the uh, the one with the with uh, out commercials, which is what you subscribe to, right? Yeah, that, that's that's staying the same. That was that is eleven ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's staying the same. Yeah, we were. I don't know. It got to the point where we were watching so much, and it was like, man. You know, I know it's not that big a deal to watch commercials, but Hulu commercials, okay, you'll have, you'll go, a Doritos commercial, a uh, GMC trucks commercial. Yeah. You know, you'll, 
and then oh, your next commercial break will be the same two commercials. Same thing, yeah. Then you'll come, you know, the, uh, streaming is great, but the commercial, commer- you know, the commercials that they have for it, they have not improved that yet. I don't mind commercials if you give me a little variety, right. you know. I don't need to see the same Tostitos commercial or whatever every, you know. Yeah. One thing that's really interesting, I don't know if this is, it's like this on all streaming services, but I only have uh, Sling is what I use for, you know, my quote, I guess, cable type um, television. So if you're watching something on like AMC or, or TNT or USA or whatever, it has down below like what the current programs are. It has the on-demand feature. Oh, yeah. And there's, I mean, it is huge, a huge category of like, um, like for instance, uh, like if you're watching HGTV and you know, like uh, what's one of the popular ones, like a Flip Flip or Flop or whatever those shows, it'll you can drop down and look at those shows, and like all of them will be commercial free. Oh, that's e- nice. Except for like the latest, the newest one. Oh, then you yeah, it has commercials, but. It's exactly what you just said, where they'll have the same four commercials yeah, each like, time slot. But it's that. But the part where they cut out the commercials on the older ones is is a really cool feature. I don't know if that's out there for any other provi- you know streaming providers or not. Hmm. But some of them have a a massive amount of content. Oh out yeah, there yeah. On the sh- on the on demand feature, right? Well, hey, we're running out of time. Uh, hey, we've done sixty one of these episodes. We're four away from retirement. Yeah, Bowen's done this about seven times now. He's been with it. No, no, I mean, <laughs> way more than that. Uh, hey, uh, join us every week here uh, live at 5 Central Time. Um, go to stuckinbetapodcast.com. Uh, go to all our social networks. Subscribe on everything, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. We need more likes on Facebook. Give us yeah. some likes. Like us. Share with your friends. Share with your friends. Tell us what you think. Say, this is the most awesome podcast. You know, maybe. You know, How is your people say, direct direct people to iTunes, but we don't ever really talk about that too much. Well, iTunes. Check it out. Yeah. Can it's, leave us a, it's hard to see feedback. how many subscribers we have on iTunes. Yeah. I think we're up to 7,000, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like and not a one of them has said, hey, good show. Yeah. They... they They tend to keep quiet, you know. (laughs) Silent listeners. Yep. Well, anyway, it's been fun, and uh, we will see you next week, maybe with Bauman. Maybe he'll be back. Other Josh. Maybe not. Maybe not. 